Hello, buzzer girls! Welcome to another episode of my River Guide French edition for Corsica. The Travo is probably the river most associated with kayaking and Corsica. In this episode, we look at the lower section, however. The put in is at the bridge, you end the standard section, and then you can go all the way down to the sea. The lower course is often overlooked in favor of the more spectacular upper section, but there are excellent points for this part. It is not so difficult as further up, but no flat water either. I like to compare it to the lower vecchio, only steeper. It also needs quite a bit of water, so when there is too much for further up, this is the part you can take on. And finally, you can kayak here on every day of the week. The lower travel for the most part consists of flat sections that are connected by steep cataracts. The result can be intimidating as you have to approach quite a way forward until you see the still water at the bottom and the whole cataract. When there is additional wind up from the sea, the spray from the cataracts are the first thing you see of them. There is one spot that in my opinion is a definite portage. At the end of a right turn about one kilometer into the trip, the water drops on the left side directly onto a boulder. Maybe with enough water you can find a way down on the right side. As it were, we heaved the kayaks down that side. The water level can be judged at the bridge. The upper end of the concrete foundation should be on water level and a bit more would probably not hurt either. As with some cataracts, you might find you took a wrong turn and have run into dry boulder land. This can lead to one or two times you have to get out. It continues in this fashion with flat water sections broken up by rapids. Most of them can be scouted from the boat. The further down you go, the easier they become. When houses appear on the left shore, you have reached the outskirts of travel. You will float down through a mini gorge and come up to what seems to be a solid barricade in the river flow that has a gap on the right. At the first bridge, you can possibly end the trip if the water levels are not high enough. From the second bridge at the main road between Bastia and Bonifacio, the travel splits up in its delta and the water level can become insufficient. It is not always clear which is the best route to take, as the access to the beach is on the river left, holding there might work. However, it is also quite the experience to drive out into the sea and paddle along the shore to the put out. Unfortunately, the road to the beach has a height restriction of about 2 meters. When we were there, you still could navigate around it, but do not count on it. An exit just above the gate is possible, but then you miss the excitement of driving out into the sea. So you might as well get out at the first bridge. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. And if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!